Hi guys and welcome back to Puppy English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today we're in Rome in Italy. We're going to explore the city and I'm going to teach you English. So let's go. This is Rome, the eternal city. If something is eternal, it lasts forever without end. I'm so excited to show you this city. The lessons we can learn about history and culture here are eternal for sure. In English, we have a popular expression, all roads lead to Rome. In ancient times, this meant that all major roads led to the capital. But figuratively, it means that all your choices and actions will eventually lead to the same result. You can learn a language in many ways, but if you have the right attitude, all roads will lead to Rome. It doesn't matter the method, you will succeed. So welcome to Rome and let's learn English. First of all, we're going to visit the Pantheon, which was originally built as a pagan temple to all gods. It was then converted into a church. In Christianity, there is only one God, so they got rid of the statues of the gods. If you get rid of something, it means to remove something you no longer want. They got rid of the statues, but we can never get rid of the Pantheon's legacy as a holy place. Hopefully, that lasts forever. So the Pantheon is such a majestic site. It's amazing to think that this building built nearly 2,000 years ago is so well preserved. Inside, there is a massive hole in the ceiling called the oculus that allows light into the Pantheon. But it makes you wonder, were the ancient Romans born in a barn? If you say that someone is born in a barn, you want to say that they always leave the windows and doors open even when there is bad weather. When it rains, the water pours into the Pantheon, but it drains away with a slightly sloping floor. So my dad always says to me, were you born in a barn when I leave the doors and windows open? And now I'll just tell him I'm copying the Romans. Anyway, let's move on to our next lesson, which is at the Trevi Fountain. So the Trevi Fountain is one of the most stunning fountains in the world. It was completed in 1762, but as a water source, it dates back all the way to the ancient Roman times. There is a legend about the fountain that if you throw a coin in the fountain, it will bring you back to Rome. If you throw two coins, it means you're searching for love. And if you throw three coins, it means wedding bells are coming. I'm gonna chance my arm and throw a coin in the fountain. If you chance your arm, it means you take a risk in order to get something that you want. Let's hope that this coin brings me back to Rome. And now, let's see what we discover next. So here we are in the amazing Piazza di Spagna. Behind me you can see the Spanish steps, which is a typical place you'll often find tourists lounging about and taking photos. To lounge about is to sit and rest probably after a long day of sightseeing. In this square, you'll also find the Barcaccia Fountain, which is an amazing fountain of a sinking boat. And if you fancy a cuppa, there is the Babington's Tea Rooms, which was established by two English ladies in 1893. If you fancy a cuppa, it's a way of saying you would like a cup of tea. So fancy a cuppa is British slang for do you want a cup of tea? And if you're looking to improve your British English, you should definitely check out the sponsor of this video, Veebsy. So Veebsy is the best and most complete app for improving British English. It has many features, but my favorite features are speech duet, which allows you to copy mouth movements and perfect your pronunciation with many different words and sentences and also the pronunciation exercises, which uses technology that listens to your pronunciation, tells you what you did right, what you did wrong, and gives you tips on how to improve. You can also learn many expressions with video explanations. It's the best app for improving 
British English and British pronunciation. You can download it using the QR code or you can find the link in the description of this video. Check it out. Okay, so now it's time to check out our next lesson in Rome. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. This expression is used a lot in English and it means when you're in a foreign place, you should act, behave and follow the customs of the local people. It's often shortened to when in Rome. So, when in Rome, you must eat a matriciana. A matriciana is a delicious sauce enjoyed with pasta and loved by the locals in Rome. For centuries, it has been prepared with guanciale, dried cured pig's cheek, and grated local pecorino, sheep's milk cheese. It is combined together with a tomato sauce. Yummy! Having stuffed our faces, that means having eaten a lot, it's time to visit the Roman Forum, the ancient ruins of what was once the center of the Roman Empire. So in the Roman Forum, you can walk in the footsteps of the ancient Romans. This was the social, commercial and political center of the entire Roman Empire. And you can take a moment to put yourself in the shoes of the ancient Romans. If you put yourself in someone else's shoes, it means you imagine what it must be like to be them and you empathize with how they must have felt. Can you put yourself in the shoes of the ancient Romans? Was their world so different to our world today? How is it similar? How is it different? Let me know in the comments. Finally, I have one last lesson for you in Rome. It is now time to visit the Colosseum. The Colosseum is one of the seven wonders of the world and it's difficult to imagine how something so colossal was built nearly 2000 years ago. If something is colossal, it means it's extremely big and impressive. So the name Colosseum is definitely fitting. It took eight years to build, proving that Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day is a popular expression. That means it takes time and a lot of effort to achieve something great. So remember the Colosseum and that Rome wasn't built in a day when you are learning a language. It takes time and dedication. I am here to help you on the journey, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can support you on the way. So that's the incredible city of Rome. I hope my coin brings me back to explore more of this amazing city because I've got a lot more English lessons and places to show you here. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So that was Rome, the eternal city. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next? Landscape. What do you mean landscape? Oh, okay, wait, 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 I'm doing this.